guys have done it again introducing Coley AI it's just as simple as you type in in something and the creation comes to life right before your eyes and look it's available to you right now click the link at the top line of the description box right now this is the most amazing app ever Alright, so yesterday King Combs put out a diss song where he took a shot at 50 Cent and that caused Meek Mill and 50 Cent to respond. So first 50 Cent came out and said, you got to be stupid. You got to be an idiot to actually taunt the feds while you're under an active investigation. Now Meek Mill, I was scrolling on Twitter and I seen that Meek wrote this to 50, right? This was earlier today around 2 o'clock, right? He put, because... And he commented under a post right here, as you see. Because you're a federal, the street ends and Queens know why you're trying to pick on a little boy. Your own son hates your guts, Eloqua. I'm so grateful to be on the island with my son and his friends on his B-Day. Don't follow these guys. These guys are miserable um, and they are terrible. Right now, 50 Cent went on posting up videos of Diddy, Meek. Um, talked about how Meek Mill, you know, defending... His so-called lover. And that's the running joke. In case you haven't been following. In case you don't know. The running joke is that Meek Mill and Diddy slept together. That's the thing. That's the, you know, people are talking about that. That's what they have reduced Meek Mill to at this particular time. Now, I think it's crazy. Now, you also said, 50 Cent said, right? Um, you sold 6Ks in your last project. You should not be on vacation. Still chasing a dream or embracing a nightmare. Standing by your man. I respect that. And that's what 50 said. And again, this is a little gossipy BS. But nevertheless, you know, we got to cover it. We got to cover it. We got to talk about it. Um, we've been covering 50 Cent stories, Meek Mill stories for the last six or seven years. So um, now caught in the middle of this is, I don't know if you know Mike Knox. Mike Knox is kind of like he, he you know, came up through the ranks with 50 Cent. He does his own music. And shout out to Mike because he came on the show when, um, right after he was released from prison. Maybe we probably one of the first podcasts that he actually came on to. But I've seen some of his little posts. And I, I have actually reposted something that he posted maybe last week where he talked about him and Meek Mill squashing the beef. But I always kind of looked at things like I always kind of seen 50 poking at Meek over the years. And I always used to wonder in the back of my mind, like, if 50 is really cool with Mike and Mike is cool with Meek, why is 50 doing that so i kind of always knew that 50 really didn't rock with meek mill like that but mike in my opinion always tried to be the peacekeeper in a situation but you can't never force another man to like another man so that is what it is right um as far as this whole meek thing this goes back meek 50 diddy 50 this goes back i'll have to piece up things together and i'm sure we got stuff in the archives go check out the channel check out the playlist We've been doing this since 2017, 2016, actually, um, covering throwbacks and things like that. So I'm sure we got something with Diddy and 50 Cent. But nevertheless, man, this whole federal thing where people are calling 50 Cent a fed and just that people know in Queens and all of that. Look, man, make no bones about it. People know in the industry that 50 Cent will sue you. It's known that. He runs around with ex-Navy SEALs and shit. That's pretty well known. It's known that he'll use the courts. He'll use enforcement to protect himself. Former law enforcement, current law enforcement. All these dudes do that. All these dudes using police. Right? Now, the whole thing about the protection order, and we went to the source because we talked about, we talked to, excuse me, Chris Gotti um, and other people. And, um, you know, you just do the research. You can see exactly what happened in the situation. It is what it is, right? So you, you can call them whatever you want to call them when you, when, you, when you dig up the information. But this is what 50 Cent does. He's a troll. He's a troll, and he is going to troll the hell out of you till death and even after death. That's just what it is. Now, if you feed into it and respond, that's on you. I always say this thing is like, see, attention is the new currency, so... You know, when you see people, now you see like a dude like Soldier Boy, who was totally out of his mind. Another troll on a whole different level, though. He's just trying to troll to stay relevant. 50 Cent is relevant. 50 Cent is doing this shit for fun. Soldier Boy 
is trolling for shows and shit and features. And you know, I'm not I'm not trying to clown Soldier Boy, but it, we see what it is. You calling out all these different people, this, that, and the third. Now you coming at me talking about Diddy Smack thing. Like, come on, man. Like, you just want to keep your name hot in the algorithm. See, one thing you guys got to understand about this business, and I know, right, from dealing with a lot of cats, if this shit is entertainment, and if I can get you to say my name, if I can get Soldier Boy trending or whatever trending, that's just going to lead to money opportunities down the line, right? That, that keeps you a celebrity. That keeps your celebrity high. That keeps people thinking about you when it's time to book. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get this person and bring him in because everybody's talking about him on the blog sites. He's popular. He must be this. He must be that. So a lot of this stuff is triggered and people do this stuff as a form of entertainment and a form to kind of get their name high, generate dollars at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, it's just a business, right? It's an entertainment industry, entertainment business, so things are done. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. You guys got to remember that. So, you know, um, we cover it, obviously. Hip-hop news platform built from scratch here. Uh, interview, and we always like to go to the source, interview, you know, people from rabbis, um, nation of Islam, politicians, um, business owners, rappers, actors, actresses, comedians, anything you want to name, we had them on the show. We had them on the show. So, um, look, give you the information. You can do what you want with it. But I will say, I do want to hear. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. So go ahead and drop your comment below about how you feel about this whole going back and forth for 50 Cent, Diddy, um, King Combs, this song. I ain't listened to it. I heard the snippets like everybody else. I'm really not interested in listening to King Combs. I'm not. i be honest with you. Um, but, Meek. Drop some music. Drop a 50 diss track or something. Like, do something out here. Now, yeah, I know a lot of people talking about the game and they want to hear what I got to say about the game. Maybe I'll drop another video about that. But I think it's a lame-ass move from the game. And again, like I told you, attention trolls, right? Now you coming at Rick Ross. Like, God damn. God damn. But look, that'll be another time. Maybe tomorrow on the podcast we'll talk about it. Some shit just ain't worth talking about, right? Some shit just ain't worth talking about. But nevertheless, I appreciate y'all listening in. It's your brother, O-G-O-D. Make sure you check out the website. Our official website is hiphopun.com. Also, our Facebook page is Hip Hop Uncensored. Instagram is Hip Hop Uncensored. TikTok, we're everywhere. All the links are in the description box below. Peace.